Hey, Shalom, all praises unto you, by Shemi, our side, double honesty, apostles of GMS, honesty brothers will be pushing this truth in sincerity from the four corners of the earth, okay? So we're going to do a quick video right now, okay? Dealing with uh, Esau and the um, the rulership that he's trying to bring in, okay? Because there is a a, a greater agenda here that's, that's, that's at work that people like to, you know, uh, sweep underneath the rug, okay? They like to forget about because... Well, it's easy to forget about stuff, okay? If you got an enemy that's over yonder, you ain't really worried about that. But you got an enemy right at your doorstep, well, then you're going to be worried, all right? See, the thing is right now, you got the enemy right here at your doorstep in the name of your, of your government, okay? In the name of the uh, the people that rule over you, your shadow government, your so-called Illuminati, okay? Which is the house of Esau, all right? Okay? And you got it to where uh, uh, people right now, they want to forget about that because in forgetting about it, they can continue on with their life. So, actually, I want to go into this scripture right quick because that kind of ties in with what I've just said right here. This is going to be in the book of Isaiah, the 60th chapter, okay? And um, this is the first verse. One of my favorite scriptures right now because this goes into how pretty much everybody's in a, in a state of sleep right now. In fact, the scripture goes as far as saying they'd be drunken, but they, they, they're not drunken with wine. They're drunken with philosophy. They're staggering as if they're, they're reading to and fro as if they've been drinking because they're drunken off the philosophies. And then th th them same damn philosophies, for instance, get money, get money. Boom. That's what's going to make you happy. No, it's not. Okay. Or, 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 or you got to be on, uh, the, you know, most fashionable. Okay. You got to be in this state of being, you know, or, or constantly posting on these so-called media streams and so on and so forth. Okay. That's a, that's a, that's a whole state of delusion, man. Okay. That's a whole state of delusion to keep you from the simple fact that ultimately, okay, Esau's trying to usher in a so-called new world order right here, man. And this is one of the proofs of it. It's a small proof. I agree to that, okay. But it's a proof of it. It's a, it's a small proof that there's a, a crafty council that has been held, okay, by these elite banking families, okay, to have it to where your, your every single move that you make, okay, can be quantified, okay, can be controlled, can be monitored. Okay, and this is a this is a this is an example of that. Okay, and you got it to where you got people out there they want to exist in a world where what eighty five percent of the world's phones are, are, are weaponized and monetized, uh, monitored. That ain't no way of living, man. Okay, that ain't no privacy. So every time you you know you you know you get you get a hard one at work and you text your message something nasty or you talk about some 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 private stuff that's supposed to be between you and your you and your girl or something. <laughs> telling me there's some there's some there's some sleaze bag out there somewhere basically watching that, and that's the that's the system that Esau's uh, uh, creating out there. Okay, but see here's the here's the diaspora to it. Here's the here's the um here's the uh, 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 the other side to it. It was letting you go to uh, going to show you that some of these things that are happening out here are controlled. For instance, if you have it to where they say okay this that and the third you know a, a terror alert or whatever whatever happens and something happens. Well, it's going to be a false flag because if they're saying 85% of the world's smartphones are weaponized, how is it the information about these things, uh, uh, these, uh, uh, these, these terror plots, so on and so forth, happen after the fact? Okay, the whole thing is already orchestrated, okay, and it's taking place, and they and then they show you the message of the person that was texting uh, off of the phone, but here it is, they're telling you in the, on, on, on the other side of the coin, they're saying all of these 85% of the world's phones is, is, is weaponized and they, they're monitoring it, Okay. So, so you got to really ask yourself, okay, if that is the case, then you know where's the where's the um uh, uh, where's the where's the preemptive uh, 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 um the preemptive uh, uh, um measures okay to them terror plots that they that they be uh, um that be happening out there by way of the social media streams and so on and so forth. Okay, they say someone posted up on Facebook this time and the third before they went out there and they did a terror attack, whatever, whatever. Well, them guys are gonna be paid off because here it is, okay. All right, they're going to be in cahoots with the CIA because here it is. The CIA is basically telling you that we already knew them phone calls already there, man. We already, we already, we already sifted that, okay? And, and and guess what? We already we, we created the same terror groups, man, okay? But ultimately, what it comes down to, if you like I said, I keep on mentioning this movie a lot. Uh, uh, if you watch the movie uh, um, with the man Christian, uh, Christian Bale, okay? The move, movie Equilibrium, they go to show you that even all of this, that, you know, your, your thoughts, okay, your feelings, your emotions, that's going to be uh, one day they want to control that. 